In this video, we're going to look at merging two reports in Power BI, where the two reports each have an overlapping column with, that has the same information. So what you're looking at right here is the query editor of Power BI. And I've got my two reports here that I wanna merge. The first report has this column, this particular column called person organization name. In my other report, I have a column called subscriber organization name. And these reports, this one here is subscription by organization. So the common thing is the organization. This has information about the organization's subscription. This second report I have is the registrations by organization. So in this case, it's the information about the specific people who are registered using that subscription. So what I wanna do is I wanna merge these reports because I wanna show in one single report, the organization, the information about the organization, both registrations and the subscription information of that organization. So I have a single row in each report and we're gonna use as an example here. So what you're looking at here, again, is the is the query editor. And the first thing that I wanna do before we get into the merge is I wanna make our organization columns um, the same name. So I'm gonna actually re rename them so that each report has the same name. So I double click into the field and I'm gonna just change it to organization name. And then I'm gonna head over to my other report and where it says subscriber organization name, I'm gonna change it just to organization name. All right, now the very next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hop up to the merge queries. This is on the home tab and there's a little drop down. And what I'm gonna do is merge queries as new so that that creates a new report. Now you can select which report um, to start with. So we'll just go ahead and start subs by organization. And then it's gonna ask you to click your second report. So we'll go, and we'll, we'll choose our second report. And then you can also choose the join kind. And for this example, I'm gonna leave it as a left outer join. And then I'm also gonna um, click on the uh, organization name here and then I'm gonna click on the organization name in this one here and you can see where it says the selection now matches one of one rows from the first table. Uh, go ahead and so I've selected the the overlapping information of, of the two reports here, those overlapping columns. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. All right, now we have our merge report. So now what we can do is we can rename this this merge report and we're going to call it registrations by organizations with subscriptions as we've merged all of that all of those uh, report details together all right now that we've done that we're going to push this over into power bi so what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and close and apply okay now that it's updated we're going to go ahead and we're going to create um, a little table right here. So we'll go ahead and select our um, all of the data that we want to have included in that, which is everything here, right in our registrations by organization um, table that we just created. And we'll go ahead and expand that. And now we can see our organization name there and so you can go through and you can check to see that um, where it, ca it retains only the organization name, one column, the organization name, and you don't see another field called organization name. So it merged, merged those two uh, together. The thing about Power BI is that it gives you the ability to take two reports and make, make them into one. Um, and automates a lot of the, the manual tasks that would that you would you know have to do otherwise if you'd had like two Excel spreadsheets and you needed to put them together. 
um, a lot of the times you're pulling data out of a system and the data and the system has the limitations on its um, analytic reports so that you know you you're not able to um, generate one report instead you have to pull out two reports and then you have to manually merge them but doing it in power bi uh, allows you to automate that process you know and then from here you know we could export um, or we can create a dashboard um, and other things like that so really the the possibilities there's quite a few possibilities what you can do next with this thanks again everyone for watching i will see you all in the next video take care bye bye